So Simon French, who's a pretty respected economist at Panmore Gordon, he suggested the Treasury's announcement that it was going to allow NFTs to be issued through the Royal Mint came three days late because it should have been an April fool. Julian Jessup, a very respected economist, a friend of the show, he's often on the money. He said, what on earth is the point of this? Tulip Sadiq, Labour's shadow economic secretary to the Treasury, John Glenn's opposition shadow, called the move a poorly judged gimmick. Why are they wrong? Well, can I just start by picking up on something that Curtis said there, and that'll sort of answer your question. Curtis, I, 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 I admire your, your admiration for British policymakers, but I'm afraid this feels very much like hot air to me. I've heard it all before. I remember, I think it was probably 2015, maybe 2016, George Osborne, the Chancellor then, making a big deal about the fact that he got some Bitcoins from a Bitcoin ATM in Canary Wharf. The UK was going to be the global centre of, 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 of crypto technology. All this sort of what now we can see was basically hot air, because within a year or two of, of George Osborne making exactly the same noises that Rishi Sunak has just made, um, we had the FCA banning, that's the Financial Conduct Authority, banning all forms of crypto derivatives, which means, for example, it was poss impossible for ordinary investors to buy um, crypto ETFs, if you like, or companies that dealt in this kind of thing. And so, you know, you had on the one hand, all this noise from the Chancellor, and then on the other hand, the actual actions that the FCA took made it very difficult for, for crypto firms to operate in this company and for ordinary investors to get exposure to it. And then if you want a sort of example of the total incoherence and inconsistency at the heart of UK policymaking, you've got the governor of the Bank of England, Andrew Bailey, who, by the way, is presiding over a policy that has inflation, real inflation north of 10 percent and interest rates at about a quarter of a percent. So ordinary sterling holders are using losing less than 10 percent of the value of their money per year. We have Andrew. Bailey saying that cryptocurrencies are dangerous, that they have no intrinsic value. I mean, come on. And then he's saying, if you want to invest in Bitcoin, be prepared to lose all your money. And only this week, he's saying that um, cryptocurrencies are the front line for scams. Now, do you know, Mr. Andrew Bailey, what is the most used currency for illegal activity? It is the US dollar. Now, who is calling for the banning of the US dollar based on that? So there is a total incoherence. Rishi Sunak saying one thing, probably trying to get a little bit of popularity because his, his popularity ratings have plummeted. Andrew Bailey saying something else. The FCA are doing something else. It is hot air and incoherence. It, and as it, for the, um, the NFT, just very, very quickly, Liam, sorry, I know I'm wittering on. As for the NFT, it's basically just a gimmick.